Well, I've decided to do a video about the idea, the concept that some people claim that Linux really isn't that good, isn't up to par when it comes to multimedia production such as audio and video and this sort of thing. You know, and I can tend to see what they're talking about when they say that and I, I, I half share their criticisms. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. I don't think I'd ever go back to Windows. I am a Linux enthusiast. I have been using Linux full time for a couple of few years now. I haven't been using Windows really at all because I don't have a, a I don't have to use Windows f for any reason really mm, that I can remember. I don't think I've used it really for a couple of years. There might have been once or twice when I was forced to. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so I decided to make a video about that because uh, there might be a lot of people who are sitting on the fence and don't really want to jump into Linux because they're worried about that one aspect of it. And I wanted to assure them that with a bit of uh, cleverness, a bit of ingenuity, a bit of... Um, you know sort of sticking with it that there are ways around this that you can find software if you look hard enough and do things that you would have done uh, on a Windows platform it'll just be different than Windows sometimes Windows is very sort of in a way it's dumbed down a Windows Movie Maker, for instance, is, you know, you can very easily make movies with title and credit and this sort of thing. And um, anybody can do it, and there's nothing really to it. But it's not always going to be like that in Linux. And sometimes in Linux, the programs, the software will crash and will sometimes have problems. But mm, that's not the end of the world either. So I'm using Ubuntu 15.04, which isn't the long-term stable version. It's the version 2 up from that. It's kind of almost like a testing version. Maybe that's why I myself have been having more problems than I wish. And, um, you know, to talk about distributions would be a whole other video, but I suppose there would be many who would say that, uh, you know, would... Uh, hardcore people might say, might laugh that you're using Ubuntu even. Well, I, I can assure you I've used other ones and I can use other ones, but I'm quite lazy. <laughs> and I don't want to do the work. That's basically why. I would rather use my computer for the things I want to use it for rather than have to do other things that are like, that's like uh, working in the terminal and, and this sort of thing. Not that you really have to do that for a lot of these other ones. Once you have Debian set up and configured the way you want it, you, you might not have to really do that, but that's a whole other video, I suppose. Um, although it does relate because people say that Debian is very stable and uh, the software probably would work better, more reliably. So that's something you consider if you're a new person too. All the software is older in Debian, not the latest stuff, but it's said to be very a very rock solid, so they say, system. And and I have tr used it um, myself, and you know I can't say that I've spent enough time to to guarantee that. But yeah, uh, the software is old, and um, things seem to work. <laughs> Anyway, we'll start with something that should be familiar to um, to people coming from Windows, called Audacity. Now, I mean, there you go. A lot of people who use Windows also use Audacity. It's cross-platform, and you can use it in, I think, Macintosh, Windows, or Linux, I believe. This is the same thing. There it is. And it has all the effects, and uh, it's quite good. Almost never crashes record music that you know your guitar you're singing you're playing from a mic through a microphone or even directly th through you know directly uh, line in or what have you sometimes it can be complicated anyone who's used it because it's simply because of making the tracks line up where you want them to be and starting the recording where you want to start it 
etc etc but you know I'm sure people uh, many people out there if anyone sees this video who's a Windows person has probably has seen audacity so I don't have to spend a lot of time talking about it do I so there you can use that and it's there and it works perfectly for the most part perfectly on Linux there is a more complicated one for audio production that I can't show you right now because I figured out why I was having trouble I believe we'll find out if I'm right making this video not be interrupted <laughs> and it's because this other piece of software does something that I've always hated it uses something called jack the jack audio server which conflicts with pulse audio it's always been a pain uh, but I have it and I like it and uh, it's complex it's called our door and y you can look it up at your standard you know it's like a cakewalk or something even above a cakewalk uh, that you might find doesn't really integrate integrate um, or at least it doesn't have synthesized instruments you know on board but you can bring in synthesized instruments I'm told that's the whole idea of Jack to hook things together to bring different software pieces together and make music but I've never had any success with that I have been able to record with it though and it records well and it does effects well it's hard to say which is better audacity or that uh, it depends on what you're trying to do I guess it makes more sense if you're putting a lot of tracks down uh, and then uh, mixing them into uh, you know one song one track that you might want to use uh, our door but you might have trouble with Jack and that's <laughs> that's no lie so to do video on Linux there are a few different things and and I'm gonna show you at least two of them that I have at times loved and at times hated <laughs> because they've worked very well at times and other times they didn't work hardly at all we'll start with the easy one open shot video right now it seems to be working really well you can render videos that go up onto YouTube quite easily it's very simple to use maybe not as simple as Windows um, Movie Maker I don't know it's different than that but you can see it's the same idea here's your you put your and here's your track one track two whatever but you put your video there cut your video you know you can add a title and the titles are somewhat you know you can make pretty complicated titles nothing really to do credits but I suppose you can be creative and make your own credits and that's not hard effects and you can see there's these effects here which are quite um, you know they're, they're pretty good really so it's a, it's a rather simple thing and and it's and it's what I use often when I just want to take the video that I've made and quickly do something and you know if I want to put it wherever I'm putting it <laughs> on Vimeo or YouTube usually that's what I mean by that and <laughs> put it where I put it whatever but anyway so there is that there's one that's more complicated but not too complicated called KDN Live it tends to work well sometimes it drives a CPU up for no apparent reason even when you're not rendering and when you do render the CPU goes up to a hundred and stays there at least on my old computer and it takes a long time to basically render a video it seems to but it does make videos that go up onto YouTube very quickly too and there's more you can really do with it than open shot sometimes it does crash and freeze but usually you can recover your your um, project and a lot of people swear by this one a lot of people love this one I maybe if I read the manual more watch the videos there's different people out there have done videos to show you how to use it better uh, then I would probably you know like it even better but um, I use it in more of a simple way and I like it well enough I just don't like what it does to my CPU and makes my computer sound like it's not happy. Alright, well, but it works though. It does work. Um, so those are a few things. Maybe I'll show you one other thing that I think is rather clever and it's called Tupi. Uh, 
and it's basically for making 2D animation. Everyone talks about Blender. Blender is, you know, way over my head. And a lot of people even use Blender for video. And I'm told that that works well too. But you can see you draw on the frame and then you make another frame and you keep going. Eventually you have something that's kind of like an old school cartoon, sort of. You can use it for making intros to your titles, to your movies. You can use it for anything. I mean, anything that needs some kind of animation. Um, I haven't had too much success. I mean, I'm not very good at it. But I've had, I've been able to make a few very short, you know, cartoons. It's, I mean, some of them are understandable. Others, <laughs> you might not know what the, what is what is he really getting at? What is he really doing? Anyway, that's what it is, and it's quite uh, it's quite good. It doesn't crash too much, and it seems to work. Um, okay, there is another one that I learned about today as far as video production well I knew about it for a long time but I never knew how to get it and I never bothered getting it you can't get it through your uh, most of these others you can get right through your package manager like your software center whatever you want to call it on, U on Ubuntu or your package manager synaptic whatever it is you can get these but some of them you have to go out and just download the the file and there's one called Cinderella that um, actually I mi I had sort of got rid of that there. Let me see if I can find that again. Um, oh yeah, sh okay, there we go. There it is. And and it works well, and uh, it's a little bit more complicated. I'm told it's supposed to be more professional. Maybe it is. I had was playing around with it this evening, and I had some problems in that only because there's too many choices you know I didn't know you you can do too many things when it comes time to render a video too many options and um, but I mean you know you just have to figure out what's gonna come out work well and what's gonna go up onto YouTube or what have you easily so this is um this is not so bad and it, and I think that it's going to end up being good uh in the end result we'll see um you can get this one online there's a website and um you can get it most things like this would be like a debian file like a deb file um and that's what ubuntu is ubuntu is built upon debian and not all of the software works on ubuntu but you know I've never found anything that doesn't that's a Debian file to tell you the truth but I'm sure there are some but it works nonetheless and you can download it and use it as a as a video editor so I'll leave it there I have probably rambled on too much and I don't want to be too rambling so we'll stop this thank you